You already know what it is. It's your boy Lay back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Nukes Top 5. You up to bat. Bah! Tell me I ain't the fucking go. It's your boy Lay back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Appreciate time. Appreciate life in 2021, man. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. Before we get into this uh, video, man, make sure y'all follow me on my Twitch, man. I'm going to put that in the pinned comment. Uh, YouTube been going crazy on my videos lately, blocking a lot. And I'm going to be doing a lot of live reactions over there on Twitch. Uh, I'm going to be gearing that up soon. So make sure y'all catch me over there, man. I'm going to be doing scary videos, maybe movies, all type of different stuff over there, too. So make sure y'all definitely check in with me over there on Twitch, man. But um, we back. You see, uh, we back with another uh, Nukes Top 5. This is Five Ghost Videos So Scary You'll Need New Pants. That'd be crazy if I was doing this video without no pants on, right? You wouldn't know shit. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, Fire Squad. <laughs> Put with me in the chat. I'm fucked up. With you. Put with you in the chat. My bad. Fire Squad. What's popping? Turn this shit down, boy. Top five ghosts caught on camera. Wrong way. Urban explorers Matt and Andy from the YouTube channel Finders Beepers History Seekers explored the abandoned Mossley Manor in Liverpool, England. The manor has a very dark history. The Victorian building was constructed over 150 years ago by cotton merchant Nicholas Duckworth who passed away in the home in 1889. In 1940, the manor served as a home for unwed mothers and their children. It was later sold to become a care home for the elderly and disabled, called Mossley Manor Care Home. Around 2014, reports began to surface of abuse and terrible living conditions at the Mossley Manor home. Even more disturbing, families discovered the unreported deaths of at least 10 elderly patients in the home. What? The care home was shut down in 2015. What? For obvious reasons, many claim that the Mossley Manor is haunted and is a hot spot for paranormal activity. But Matt and Andy from Finders Beepers are certainly not ghost hunters or even necessarily believers in the paranormal. They're just a couple of guys who enjoy doing urban exploration of old decaying properties like the Mossley Manor right. and cracking a few jokes along the way. All right, so you just come in to a sort of, where they keep files and diaries and one thing or another. He didn't look suitable to enter the building on account of him having a wild expression in his eyes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How can... Psychopath coming in. No, but who can judge whether somebody should be allowed in because they've got a wild look in their eyes? Never let me in, would they? <laughs> this building is amazing, actually. I really want to go scrambling around on that roof. But I don't know whether I'm just currently too far. <laughs> F***ing hell! Jesus Christ, <laughs> Red. Oh my there. God, my Playing heart. around and shit. This is like the entranceway. Not that we can Shit about to get real in a minute. Bombs. Even though the two guys try to keep the atmosphere light, when they are on their way up the manor stairs, Matt sees something truly chilling. And suddenly, things just aren't so funny anymore. Right, just heading up. Is this the second or third floor we're going up to? Because we went down to the basement, it's thrown me. Totally thrown me. That paper's they're thick, aren't they? Wallpaper in here is like good quality wallpaper. I will say that. Yeah. So, but yeah, you can see it goes up again. Hey, wait up. Hello. There's somebody up there. Hello. down there as well. Right, I'm going up. What the f Right, I, I've gone cold. Yeah. Look at him. Oh, it might have been. I've gone cold because I saw somebody stood there. I saw a leg. I'm scared as shit. Hello? Right now. Are you just far? <laughs> but they went 
that way and there's no way you can go oh I'm tripping bro a voice yeah. I didn't hear Yo, I'm gonna try to get through this shit. I'm gonna try this shit already. We on five and I'm already fucked up. Bro, that shit scared the fuck out of me. That's weird. I'm gonna have to look back at the footage. As Matt films the top of the staircase, he captures what appears to be the legs of someone or something who seems to be watching them. The figure immediately walks off toward the right and disappears. Matt and Andy immediately head up the stairs to investigate, but they can't find anyone or anything to explain what Matt captured on camera. Even stranger, there is nowhere for anyone to walk or hide. Now keep in mind that the mysterious figure disappeared towards the right side. Well, that just leads toward a wall with a tiny boarded up window. The mysterious person seems to have simply disappeared into thin air. But they went that way, and there's no way you can go. So could it be that they captured the ghost of Nicholas Duckworth still roaming his Victorian home? Could it be the apparition of one of the elderly patients that passed away inside the manor? Let me know what you think. You can check out Matt and Andy's full exploration over on their YouTube channel, Finders Beepers, History Seekers. That was crazy. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok user Chips and Chicken shared a strange video. That was crazy. She explains that the video was captured by CCTV late at night in the 50-year-old building of a union center in California. One night, something triggers the building's alarm. So the office manager goes to check the CCTV footage. He finds a truly chilling discovery that as TikTok user Chips and Chicken put it, quote, freaked him out. That's pretty blue. How can we do that? <laughs> Keep forgetting that. This looks like she's floating, Bob. Oh God, that gives me the creeps. Yep. A white figure can be seen hovering around the back of the building. What the Workers fuck? Workers who watched the footage believe it might be the spirit of a Union Center member who had recently passed away. TikTok user Chips and Chicken is baffled by the footage. She says that all of the men who work in this building are elderly and simply wouldn't know how to fake something like this. So is it real? Or is it just an elaborate hoax? You decide. TikTok user, your mom's undies. <laughs> Let, let's just take a second for the giggles to pass. All right. Uh, anyway, she claims that she is usually unaffected by anything scary that she watches on the internet or TV. But when her uncle sent her this video captured at his apartment in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, she was shocked. The family claims that they have been tormented by frequent paranormal activity for the entire four years that they have lived in this apartment, but they say they've four never captured years. anything like this before. What terrifies the family even more is that the dark figure, which appears to have claws for hands, can be seen coming out of their sleeping baby's bedroom. When they received the notification of captured movement caught by their security camera, they say they immediately fled the apartment to stay at their parents' home. So did the family capture some dark entity on camera? You decide. Your baby. If you see a video that you what think would be perfect the for the fuck? top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com to wake the dead. Popular Jordanian livestream ghost hunter Hassan Barbar is back with another terrifying investigation this as he shit, travels man. to an abandoned house in the middle of nowhere. The wow. house is said to be haunted by a dark spirit or djinn. 
As Hassan explores, he records everything live for his Snapchat followers. Soon, he begins to hear a very chilling sound. Hey, 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 Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. He ran into it. Fi had. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah al-Ladhi yadhur ma asmihi shayf al-Ardhul fi al-Sama wa al-Sami al-Alim. Bismillah Allahu Akbar. Bismillah Allahu Akbar. In the middle of nowhere, Hassan sees a dark figure peeking out from the door of the abandoned house. As it darts back inside, Hassan runs to the building, but the figure has disappeared. But whatever is roaming the property seems to be getting even closer. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A'udhu bi kalimati Allah al-tamat min sharri ma khalaq. Yi, bi yi. Bismillah, bismillah. Bismillah. Again, Hassan runs as fast as he can, only to find nothing. He's beginning to get a little spooked, but he continues on. A little spooked. And then things get downright chilling. He liked that word, chilling. Bismillah. Bismillah. Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. Hold up, bro. Bruh. I got chills all over my body, bro. <sighs> I don't know, y'all. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one. I don't know, man. What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh! Ah, Rishdin, the robot is here, man. Ah, oh. Bismillah. The terrifying scream becomes ear-piercingly loud and Hassan once again attempts to run toward the source of the sound, but he painfully stubs his toe against a piece of cement. The room appears to be completely empty as Hassan checks his injured toe. Then out of nowhere the intense screaming is back, and now it seems to be right where he's standing. Hassan is frightened but keeps filming for his live stream audience. Get That's the when things fuck take out. a terrifying turn. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A'udhu bi kalimati Allah al-tamat min sharri ma khalaq. Bismillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A'udhu bi kalimati Allah al-tamat min sharri ma khalaq. Bismillah al-Ladhi yadhur ma asmihi shayf al-ardhu la fi al-sama'u wa al-sami'u. Ah! Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. He tripped. As Hassan looks out a window, he gets hit in the neck by something. As he points the camera towards himself to show his injured neck, a horrifying dark figure suddenly appears right behind him. Terrified, he turns around, but again, there's no one there. That's when Hassan has finally had enough. He decides to just get out of there. So did Hassan Barbar capture a malicious djinn or spirit live on camera? Or is it all effects and careful editing? As always, 
you decide. You can find more creepy videos of Hassan's adventures over on his YouTube channel, Hassan Barbar. That shit was crazy though. Follower. This next video was sent in by a Nuke's Top 5 viewer. He says that his uncle used to work in a rental store. One day, as he was walking in the door, he felt as if someone or something firmly touched him on the back. He looked around, but no one there. But when he checked the store's security footage, he was shocked to the core. Same here. I can't believe that happened. Dude, just something f***ing touched me, dude. And it's on camera. Daryl, get that person behind me, dude. Look at the mess. Now watch. Touches me. Gone. Gone, dude. Look. I'm like, what the f***? <laughs> oh my god, man. What the hell? I'm not looking for thing. I mean, look, and I'm like. Now, normally I would say that what you see on the footage is simply caused by a common camera compression glitch, but the guy's reaction is just not so easy to explain. The man looks around in confusion, and it seems that he truly believes that someone just touched him even though there's no one there. So could this strange mist that seems to follow him be something paranormal? Let me know down in the comments. Off the air. Antonis Vlahos is a paranormal investigator from the Greek YouTube channel Perfusikes Drastiriotites, which in English translates to paranormal activities. Antonis says that he was sent multiple reports from townspeople about the strange things happening in a quiet and mostly abandoned mountain village in Greece. The locals claim that one day, some time ago, something strange and unexplained appeared in the sky above the town. Some call it a, quote, thing, and some describe it as an ominous glow. Since the creepy incident, the locals claim that they experience non-stop unexplained phenomena inside their homes. They say that they feel like they are being watched and can't sleep because whenever they try to get some rest, they get the grotesquely odd sensation of worms crawling on their feet. What? The activity has gotten so intense that almost all of the villagers decided to leave the town for good. Right. The very few inhabitants left are still looking for answers. Antonis Vlahos is skeptical about the strange reports, but agrees to travel to the small mountain town to investigate. When he and his cameraman arrive, they discover that many of the town's homes are indeed abandoned. They decide to spend the night inside one of these abandoned homes to try and capture some of the reported strange phenomena on camera. As they explore the abandoned house, they begin to get the feeling that whoever used to live there left in a hurry. <laughs> Furniture and electronics are left behind in the house, but strangest of all, even family photos are left scattered everywhere. It appears that the former occupants left in such a rush that they didn't even have time to pack away their precious family keepsakes. Later that night, Antonis and his cameraman decide to lay down for a rest, but they leave their cameras recording just in case. That's when they capture something downright chilling. Τι 
Θα ακούσω. Θα ακούσω. Αλλά κατά από τον τοίχο ακούγεται. Αλλά κατά ακούσω. Πλάκα κάνεις τώρα. Άδειο. Δεν είναι κατακούς που παίζει. Δεν είναι δεν υπάρχει. Δεν είναι δεν είναι πουθενά. It's not even plugged up. Είναι δωρε. It's not even plugged up. Είναι δυνατό να παίζει μόνο του. Δεν είναι κατακούς. Δεν είναι κατακούς δεν παίρνουν τις μπαταρίες. Σταμάτσε. Δεν είμαστε καλά. Κοίτα εδώ ρε φίλε. Αλέκα, έχω τρελάθει. Antonis jolts up and calls out to his cameraman. They both hear a very creepy sound coming from somewhere inside a nearby cabinet. They discover it's a radio, but the radio isn't plugged into any power source, and the antique receiver doesn't even have a compartment for batteries. Suddenly, the radio just stops playing, and Antonis and his cameraman are baffled by what they have just witnessed. Eventually, they decide to lay down for a rest once again. It did not go well. Τι να λοιπόν, πάμε έξω, πάμε έξω. Πάμε έξω, πάμε έξω. Τον αλλιού μου, πάμε έξω. Well, they had an earthquake. Εγώ ακόμα ακούω ήχους μέσα αυτή τη στιγμή. Εντάξει, θα είναι ότι πιο δυνατό έχω ζήσει. Ότι πιο ανατροχιαστικό έχω ζήσει. Πρώτα εγώ δεν μπαίνω. Ε, το πρωί. Να πάρω τουλάχιστον κάποια πράγματα ρε φίλε, γιατί δεν γίνεται. Έχουμε... Ωραία. Τι σκέρες, φαπ. Δεν έχω ζήσει πιο ανατροχιαστικό. Περιστατικό. No less than three different cameras are recording when suddenly the whole house starts to shake. The family photos fly into the air and a chair is thrown across one of the house's rooms. The terrified team runs outside to safety, leaving all of their equipment inside. Antonis explains that this is the creepiest and most intense activity he has ever experienced. So did the Paranormal Activities team capture real paranormal activity on camera? Are the stories about the abandoned town true? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch the full video and more scary investigation over on the YouTube channel Perfusikes Drastiriotites for updates and creepy posts that are truly bizarre. Follow me on Instagram here and follow me on Twitter there. Thanks for watching. All right, so that was five ghost videos. So scary, you'll need new pants, bro. Whoa. I don't know how I got through all of that. That uh, crazy, crazy. If you made it to the end, you a real one. If you made it to the end, put real one in the chat, bro, because you a real one if you made it to the end, man. But you already know, man, self-love and positivity. Till next time, Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Hey!